our prop warehouse, followed by our motor pool. This is one of our outdoor prop storage areas. And if you take a look up high into the sky, you'll see your first photo opportunity. That's our award-winning Earful Tower. It stands 13 stories tall, capped off with a set of Mickey Mouse ears. Each ear weighs 5,000 pounds. Airports around the country knew this Gulfstream 1 as the 234 Mickey Mouse, but there's the studio, we just like to call it the mouse. While Disney bought this plane back in 1964, and used it to shuttle himself as well as his crew of Imagineers from California to New York during the final stages of the World Fair. That's where our attractions at the Small World and Great Moments with Mr. Lincoln made their grand debut. That's also the plane that Walt Lewis scouting missions on all over Central Florida. Four months to ten years to develop. These developed in about four months. They're made out of spike and sleeves and bags of moss. We have about 180 topiaries located throughout our Walt Disney World Resort. But right now, we're entering one of the most glamorous departments here at our studio. This is creative costuming. Here at costuming, it all begins with the designer's sketch. You can see some examples of those located along the far wall. From there, our seamstresses and tailors take Dave's Christmas. That was Vern's house. That was also the first full-length feature film right here at the Disney MGM Studios. All these homes have been used in movies, television shows, and commercials. And coming up just ahead of us are a few homes you might recognize. The most famous, perhaps, is coming up off to your left, the Beja Wise style home with all the ferns out front, was home for seven seasons to the Emmy Award-winning Golden Girls, starring B. Arthur, Rue McClanahan, and Stel Getty, and Betty White. All the exterior shots were done right here in Florida, were then edited together with interior shots, so now in Burbank, California. You'll notice their mailbox is right out front. We never saw those lovely ladies get up off the couch too often to check their mail. That's because the walk from their living room to the front yard was about 3,000 miles. Well, right now, Deborah's taking us to a part of our automobiles, airplanes, and large scale props. You never know when you might need them, I guess. And that's this long black like, speed solar master money I blew up the kit. Some of these military-looking vehicles, including the large tank up ahead, were used in Steven Spielberg's film Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. Pay special attention to the metal treads on that tank. You'll see that they're just made out of rubber. It makes it much safer for actors and stunt actors to work on that type of surface, especially Harrison Ford. He likes to do his own stuff. The Fable Plymouths were used in Who Framed Roger Rabbit. These were only three out of the seven cars used throughout the movie. That's because each time it was hit, shot, or blown up, a different car had to be used. And I think you can tell which one Roger got his paws on. Steel wheels are fiberglass coverings fitted right over the rubber tires of that bus. When they filmed the scenes with the trolley in it, it never ran on any real tracks. What they did was paint them all along the street, and they pushed that bus all the way down, which is great because that means we can stop for just a few moments. You can take some quick pictures if you'd like. I'm going to tell you some little known behind the scenes facts about this canyon. Located right above us is a special platform that camera crews use to mount their cameras on so they can... Or at least, well, this is it. This is our rain effect. It's created by large spouts located right above us. They shoot the water outward in crisscross patterns. It was a rain of more natural look. This canyon has been used in such television shows as Santa Barbara. Also, it's called... buildings are just painted glass positioned at the end of the street. And while the actual New York City skyline stands over 100 stories tall, our chair is just about four. You may get a better look at those facades out on New York Street. The 
pasta machine was also used to bring Roger Rabbit. That was Judge Doom, Doom Town, Ditmobile. But right now we're nearing the end of our tour at the American Film Institute Showcase. Inside the showcase you'll find props and costumes from classic Hollywood movies all the way to new releases. You can see the Muppets in there from their latest, Muppet Treasure Island, as well as some props from the newest Disney film.